welcome back to my channel i am back today with another video and today of course as y'all can tell this is going to be a lot different i am doing makeup i have been getting a lot of requests to do a makeup tutorial and y'all here i am so yes i was very overwhelmed with the wig still is y'all but i love makeup too and i just want to I just want to get on camera and do some makeup too and of course for all the people who did request here i am so okay so let's get into which palette that we are going to be using this one right here is from juvia's place i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have seen this one this is my favorite one of my favorite from juvia's place it's a nubian too and i'm gonna try to stick to just one palette and of course one would fall out let me grab it <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I had to go and retrieve this one right here. It fell out as soon as I opened up the palette, but this is what the palette is looking like. I'm going to try to do something real simple, something that's not too hard for most of us. So, yeah, this is the palette, and, and I'm just going to show the eyeshadow look on camera today. Maybe later we can do a full face, but today is just going to be the eyeshadow. As y'all already see that I am bare-faced. I only have moisturizer on, and my eyebrows are done. So, y'all, let's just get into this look. So of course we're going to start off with an eyeshadow primer. We definitely need an eyeshadow primer. If you don't use it, your eyeshadow would definitely crease. So that is my favorite one. So yeah, use whatever you have. And of course I just pointed to that first color which is Kenya. And we're going to start off with that with this brush that I got from the crayon case. This is just a packing brush. I'm trying to put as much eyeshadow on my eyes as possible. And we will blend it out a lot more whenever we get to our next color, which is now. This color is Madagascar, and the brush that I'm using is from Morphe. This one is the M139. This is a small tapered brush. Yeah, most of my favorite brushes are dirty, so these are my second best ones. But I do like this brush anyway. But right now, I'm just going in circular motion to blend out that first dark color. You know, I want it to fade out, you know, in a nice gradual color. So that's what I'm doing right now. I should have washed all my brushes, but y'all know how it is, life, and I didn't have the time yet. So, um, yeah, let's just concentrate on adding more shadow. I did pick up that um, first brush I got from the crayon case. I'm packing more because I did remove some of my um, Kenya color, and I need to put that back on. And right now, y'all just going to see me go back and forth with kenya and madagascar you know just blending away just to make sure there are no hard lines i don't like lines i'm pretty sure y'all don't either so this brush right here i don't even know the name of it but i did get this one from lavish and it's just a very small blending brush and the reason why i got this very very small blending brush is because i'm adding this black color and as i'm pretty sure y'all saw the um another palette i got from juvia's place is the, the um saharan palette by juvia's place i went in with the color chad i only want to darken up that outer corner a little bit and of course we have to be careful with that black and back into my nubian palette i'm using that color sheba and y'all know i'm pretty sure a lot of us know that using the fingers with shimmer shades makes them pop even more so that's what i'm doing and right next to it i'm using the color zuri and I'm gonna end up going use my fingers. Y'all gonna see that too. And by the way, if y'all are interested in some colored prescribed or non-prescribed contact lens, even though my eyes are closed right now, I picked a fine time to talk about this, but that's okay. Um, definitely go ahead and check out TTDI. I have a coupon code where you can save some coins. Y'all, mine are prescribed. I can see, which is very, very surprising, y'all. My eyes are very, very bad, and I was so shocked that they got my prescription right. So definitely check them out if y'all are interested. Coupon code is called Phoebe. And this is a small tapered brush that I got from the company called Lavish. Um, right here, I'm just blending out the shimmer shades just a little bit. I know a lot of people use this type of brush to apply it, but yeah, I'm just making sure my lines are gone. Okay, y'all, okay, so this is what the eyeshadow is looking like for now. We're going to go back and finish it, but I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and concealer and all my full face of everything off camera. Just in case you are interested in what color foundation I'm using, I am going to stick with Juvia's Place. Um, I am in the color Campala in 340 and the concealer that I'm using is also Juvia's Place 
I know it's not focusing, but that's okay. In the number 13. So yeah, I'll be right back and everything else will be in the description box that I use on my face. Be right back. And right here, y'all, I'm not gonna show you the whole application of my foundation, but I just want to show y'all that if you are my skin tone, this color matches me perfectly, y'all. So I'm loving that about this foundation. I mean, love it. And this is what the concealer looks like. So yes, I really do like this, y'all. So if you're interested in this one, I mean, I think y'all should definitely try their foundation. One of my favorites. And yeah, I just really want to show y'all these lashes that I have been loving for months, y'all. I mean, beautiful. I love these lashes. And of course, y'all, what makes it even better is that these lashes are from a company called Flirty Girl Lashes from a owner who is a YouTuber. Her name is Chantelle Lace with a pretty face. So y'all definitely go ahead and check her out. And of course, not only are they beautiful, they aren't expensive. And I was blessed enough to get a coupon code for y'all. It's called Phoebe. Definitely go ahead and check out Flirty Girl Lashes because we definitely need to support our small business owners. Yeah, this lipstick is so pretty. I did just get this one from Juvia's Place. Again, this one is in the color Toffee uh, with a line of lipstick, new line of lipsticks. They had the peaches, mauves, and of course the chocolate. I was supposed to get to y'all and do a swatch. Of course I didn't, I didn't have time. And hopefully next week I can get to it and I'll show y'all what these lipsticks looks like on my skin tone. So just now I did just show y'all a brush from Morphe. This is the M213. I'm just taking each color that I put at the top of my eyes at the bottom. So yeah, I did clean my um, brush every time I dipped into my shadows. So I have this little thing I got from BoxyCharm that I love. I mean, you can just dip it in that, swirl it around, and it takes most of the eyeshadow off. So I love it. And right here, I'm just adding some black eyeliner in my waterline. And this is the finished look, y'all. Tell me what y'all think about it. I really do like it. I think it's kind of like a neutral glam. Can be everyday makeup if you want to be. I mean, depending on how sassy you want to be on that work day or whatever grocery trip i don't know but anyway yeah this is the end of the video please like subscribe and comment and i am going to see y'all in my next video bye bye